Do you want this? Let's get right into it. Select your clip and duplicate by Ctrl V and Ctrl C. Make sure the resolution is set to full. Right click your clip and pre-compose it. Do the same thing for the other clip. Double click your duplicate clip, and double click your clip again to go to layer. Look for the tools panel and select roto brush tool. Press and hold Ctrl key on your keyboard to adjust the size of the brush. Now start to paint your weapon until the roto brush has fully covered it. If the roto brush select other areas, press and hold alt and paint the unaccessory parts out to remove the selection. Once you have paint the weapon of your choice, go to the effect controls and set the quality to best and version to 2.0. Adjust the time frame and drag it all the way to the green marker, which is the first frame for me. Then go to preview and hit play and let roto brush do its work. If there's any mismatch, simply go to that frame and adjust it with Roto Brush tool again. As you can see Roto Brush does pretty well tracking the weapon. Once you are happy with the overall results, simply click the freeze button, and wait for it to fully freeze. Close the preview layer and close the comp layer. Now you have successfully Roto Brush your clip. You can rename the duplicate clip if you want to. Now add in your preferable effects. For me I'd add in deep glow effect into the duplicate clip. You can add it any effects you'd like such as shine, fire or electric effect. Be creative. That's it for today's video. I know the tutorial is not in detail. I'm sure not many of you would watch a 15 minute tutorial video of me explaining every single details. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again with more tutorials video soon. Goodbye.